There are only a handful of very important days in any man's life. When he graduates from school, when he gets his first job, maybe when he gets married or has a child or buys a house, or when he gets a new backpack. And that day for me is today. So, I recently got a new day pack. I call it a day pack plus. Um, maybe I can use it for one overnight. I'm almost positive I can, depending on time of year or what I pack in there. So before I show you my new pack, I'll go through and show you the packs that I've been using. So this is my Go Light Quest backpack. This is my go-to. I love this pack. It's awesome. There's so many things that I love about it. It's super durable. Um, has really versatile pockets here. This big one in the front is really nice. There's not a lot of little weird pockets where things can get lost, and that's just a personal pet peeve of mine that I don't like. I don't like when they put way too many pockets inside of other pockets in backpacks. Certain people might really like that because it helps them organize their stuff better, but for me, I'm always trying to remember where I put my headphones or where I put my snacks or my knife or wallet or whatever. Um, this pack, I've used this on a great number of many overnight hikes, multi-day hikes, and for multi-day hikes, this is a perfect backpack. But I was looking for something a little bit smaller, like a day pack or a day pack plus, something that I could do and take for like one overnight, um, use mostly as just a day pack for hiking, but if I needed to push it into one or maybe even two overnights, depending on the time of year, I could do it. And I brought this one on a couple of day hikes, and it works just fine. Um, you know, it's really comfortable. It's just a little bit too big. So I wanted something a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter, something more streamlined. So for multi-day hikes, overnight hikes that are more than just one day, this will probably continue to be my go-to. Um, if I'm bringing a lot of camera equipment, multiple tripods or lenses or something, I'd probably go with this as well, just because of how much space there is inside. And for my day pack, this is what I had been using. This is a High Sierra. It's probably $20. I think they still sell these at Costco. Um, it's fine for just like a day pack, but um, it's more suited for if you're carrying your computer on the train or on the bus, or if you're going to be on a flight and you have you know, some chips and some video games and things like that. Actually, for airline travel and stuff, this is actually pretty good. Um, got a lot of pockets inside, I think too many for how small of a backpack it is, but that's just my personal pet peeve. Other than that, it's super durable. So that's one thing I do like about this pack is you can have it for years, you can beat it up, and you can't really see anywhere and tear on it. The main thing I don't like about it is how sweaty it gets on day hikes. Um, this has no support, it's flat right against your back, and it gets really, really sweaty. It doesn't help that it's black but it also doesn't help that there's no mesh or there's no separation from your back. So when I would go on hikes with Courtney, she has a really nice Gregory Day Pack, Day Pack Plus. Um, that's what I call it because it's just like a little bit more for if she wanted to use it as an overnight pack. Um, and the great thing about that is it has the hip straps, it has the ventilation on the back, and just more streamlined. And that's really what I'm looking for in a day pack. So. One other thing to consider, and one reason why I hadn't bought one in a long time, is I'm cheap. So I don't want to buy a new pack just to have a new pack. I'm thinking, I have a backpack. What's wrong with my goal light? It's amazing. I've used it on so many trips. There's no problem with it. Yeah, it might be a little bit bigger than what I need, but I don't really need a new pack right now. Plus, they're so expensive. That was one thing. Whenever I would go and be looking at a new pack, of course, you know, it's like Candyland. You go into REI or you go into like any of these outdoor stores or start looking online and I see these packs. I'm like, wow, that would be really cool. Then I look at the price, it's $120, $130. Not that I can't afford it, I just didn't want to spend it on that, especially on a day hike, day hike pack. Um, you know, it's just not something that I really wanted to spend that much money on at the time. And part of it is just because I'm cheap. And this, this is my new pack. It's a, it's a Deuter, or it's a Deeter, Deuter, I think. Anyway, 
Um, it's the perfect size. It's exactly what I was looking for. A day pack that's a little bit bigger, so I could use it as an overnight pack for one, maybe two nights, depending on how much food I want to bring or what time of year it is. If it's summer, I can pack really light. And the things I like most about it, look at this mesh on the back. This system here is awesome. It definitely won't get sweaty there, I don't think. Um, and it also has these mesh ventilated shoulder straps, which I've never seen before, but hey, why not? It has the hip straps here, which is awesome for this kind of pack. Um, usually on a lot of day packs, they don't have this, which, you know, it's not a huge deal because a lot of them are smaller, but this one being a little bit bigger, it might have more weight in there, so having the hip straps like that is gonna be great. These pockets are even ventilated, which is pretty cool. Um, it has the um, little padding here, at the bottom for the back, so this is going to be really cool. One thing that I hadn't seen before is integrated pack cover, which is really cool. <laughs> I love little things like that. And it has the side pockets for holding my water bottles. It also has the um, pocket for holding the bladder, if I was going to use a water bladder. I don't typically use a water bladder. I usually use like Nalgene size bottles or water bottles that slide in the side. So these pockets here will be perfect for that. Um, the first time I pack it up for an overnight hike, I'll film it so you guys can see how I pack this one compared to how I pack the um, Go Light for an overnight. Uh, but I'm really excited. I love the color. It's like Christmas having like a new pack. It's like I haven't taken the tags off yet. I got it a little while ago. I haven't taken the tags off yet. I'll take it off once I pack it up for the first trip, um, which should be coming up really soon. So I'll let you guys know what I think once I get on the trail. But that is my new pack, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.